Hello team and welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look at how to add checkboxes to your Excel spreadsheet where upon clicking them, Excel will input the current date and time as well as format your selected cells. Timestamps are below if you'd like to skip to a certain section. Let's jump in. To start this process, you do need to make sure you have the Developer tab in your Excel ribbon. If the Developer tab isn't currently there, you can right-click the ribbon and select Customize the Ribbon. Then just make sure to check mark the box for Developer and click OK. Now to add our checkboxes, go to the Developer tab at the top, select Insert, and then select the checkbox. Draw the checkbox in the selected cell, and we're gonna remove the text for the checkbox. To do that, you can right-click and select Edit Text. Now to apply this checkbox to the remaining cells, you can click the fill handle and drag it down. Now we need to add a format control to each individual checkbox. To do that, right-click the checkbox and select Format Control. You don't need to worry about the value section. That's just letting you know whether or not the checkbox is currently selected. But we do need to input the cell the checkbox is linked to. To keep things simple, we're going to link each checkbox to the cell it's currently over. So for this first one, I'll enter B2 and click OK. Now I'll take a moment to complete that same step for the remaining checkboxes. Make sure to reference the cell underneath the checkbox you're currently linking. Now that I've linked the format control, you'll notice that as I select each one of the checkboxes, they populate a value of true for their respective cells. This value of true, or if I unclick the checkbox false, is what we're going to utilize for our formulas. To keep our spreadsheet looking clean, you can highlight all of the fields with true or false, and go to the font selection and select white. Now the fields are still present, as you can see in the formula bar, but we don't have to see them on our Excel spreadsheet. Now to add formatting to each of the projects that have been completed, I'll highlight the project column, go to Conditional Formatting, and select New Rule. I'll use the option at the bottom to enter a formula, and in the formula bar, I'll enter the formula equals dollar sign B2. That way the formula will apply correctly going down the column, but will also reference the correct row. Next, I'll go to Format, and for the fill color, we'll choose a light green format, and click OK. Click OK again. Now when I select the first checkbox, my project is highlighted in green, and you'll see this will apply to the others as well. Now let's take a look at how we can have the checkbox also include a completed project date as the current date. You'll notice in the ribbon I've already formatted column C as the date. Now let's input our formula into the cell. Let's take a closer look at this function to understand how it works. We start off with the if function. The logical test is whether or not cell B2 is equal to true. For the value of true, we have a nested if function. The logical test here is whether or not C2 contains data. For the value of true, meaning that cell C2 does contain data, we just want to return that same value. For the value of false, meaning cell C2 doesn't contain any data, we input the now function to return the current date and time. Then the value of false for the original if function is just to return blank. I'll press enter to input this formula and I'll drag the formula down to apply it to the remaining cells. One final step we need to take is going to the File menu, selecting Options, head to the Formulas menu, and make sure that the checkbox for Enable Iterative Calculation is selected. Then click OK. Now when I select that Training has been completed, not only is the cell highlighted in the formatting we chose, but the current date and time is input as well. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.